Hi, I did a bit more work on my 12 volt automatic on backup light. I got two 1 watt LEDs here and I mounted the relays and the connectors on the circuit board. And I also have a 1 watt to 3 watt LED driver for the LEDs. And I decided to use a lithium battery pack and a BMS to protect the pack and yeah it's pretty much done wiring the BMS is not that difficult but soldering the wires onto this battery holder is more challenging because when you solder the connectors here from the negative to the from the negative to the positive it's just a piece of wire and when you solder it, um, make an open circuit because the wire is just crimped on there. So it's a bit more challenging. Probably the better way is to use tapping wires and solder your 18650 together that way and put heat shrink on them. instead of. Uh, they seem to be working so I checked out the voltages and 11.8 here. Now before using the BMS you have to activate the BMS and you can do that by plugging your charger into the BMS. You have the positive and the negative wire and uh, that goes to the battery side and when you plug in your charger it will activate the cell protection. So that's what I'm going to do, see if that's going to happen, plugged it in, charging light comes on. Okay, so I'm going to use this 12 volt adapter. This actually puts out 12.6 volt, it's regulated. It is a dedicated lithium ion battery charger to charge 3 cell uh, lithium ion batteries and it will turn off the charge or it will limit the charge to 12.6 volt. So I'm using some cheap batteries here. These are the fake 18650s. But even these can keep the light on for a few hours. So I'm gonna buy better and uh, I'm gonna buy some laptop batteries and put them in there. If you use like Samsung or Panasonic batteries those will be the best and they will keep the light on for much longer. So, um, plug it in. And you see the red LED comes on. And this will keep the battery charge. So, the uh, AC is more like you're just using the AC um, as a switch so to you can use this setup instead of uh, lights you can use it to turn on a fan or turn off a fan or other kinds of uh, applications so it doesn't have to be a light you're basically just using the AC um, to power the uh, relay anyway uh, I'm going to pull the plug out and hopefully if everything is connected correctly the uh, the LEDs would come on. No. Why? Because I have a switch here. I forgot to uh, turn the switch on. Okay, let's do it again. Plug it in and the light goes out. All right. Plug it in, the light goes out, pull it, yep, this time um, I turn the switch on. Alright, instant failure, nothing like instant failure. Alright, so um, I'm in a semi-darkened room and I don't really want to look at, look at the LEDs directly because they they will hurt your eyes, they're 2, volt, uh, two watts, pretty bright. So. This will protect the batteries when they drain too much, it will cut off the circuit. 
It will also protect it when you overcharge the battery or too much current coming in and it will turn off. So pretty pretty simple. All right, uh, let's let me go to the uh, the picture there to show you. Okay, uh, for those that are interested in how to wire the BMS, you have the picture here of the one that I bought. This is for three cells. And basically you connect your battery wires output input here, positive and negative, to um, where you have your charger. Okay, so if you have a three cell, your positive here, negative here. The first wire is the positive, like here in this battery case, positive. You go to here, and then your second positive goes to here, right? And then your third positive goes to here, and then finally your negative goes to the other side here. The layout of the chip is different for different um, different brands. I guess some of them put them a little differently, but basically it's the same. And the last wire goes like that. So if you imagine if your cells are laid out like this, like from end to end like this, instead of uh, in the form of a battery holder. So your positive would go here, the first one, and then your second one, B2, and then the third one, B3, and then the negative goes all the way around to your negative. And that's it. 